AOC accuses pro-Israel PAC of being extremist organization that destabilizes U.S. democracy New York Democrat Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez defended her call for a ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza war by accusing both sides of committing war crimes, Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, accused a pro-Israel political action committee, PAC, of being an extremist organization that destabilizes American democracy. The leader of the progressive squad attacked the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, IPAC, on Tuesday night amid Israel's war with the Palestinian terrorist organization. Hamas, Ocasio-Cortez, who accused Israel of committing war crimes last month, accused the pro-Israel PAC of being racist and bigoted toward lawmakers of color. Retired army legal expert blasts AOC's accusations against Israel for committing war crimes. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Ocasio-Cortez also accused IPAC of being an extremist organization that destabilizes U.S. democracy. IPAC endorsed scores of January 6th insurrectionists, the Democratic Socialist of America, DSA, Congresswoman said. They are no friend to American democracy. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than, they are one of the more racist and bigoted PACs in Congress as well, who disproportionately target members of color, she continued. They are an extremist organization that destabilizes U.S. democracy, she wrote. IPAC responded to Ocasio-Cortez's post, blasting the Democratic Socialist Congresswoman over her peddling, of the same tired lies, and, spin, Ocasio-Cortez, and the squad summed up, people who disagree with us are racist, IPAC posted on Wednesday. IPAC stands with pro-Israel Democrats and Republicans of all races, genders, and backgrounds who support the U.S.-Israel alliance. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than, and we oppose those who don't, like you, the group added. IPAC's website, which features Democrat Representative Haley Stevens of Michigan on its, about, page, says it works to bring, together Democrats and Republicans to advance our shared mission, of advancing policies strengthening U.S.-Israel. Relations. Building bipartisan support for the U.S.-Israel relationship is an American value we are proud to champion, the website reads. Ocasio-Cortez's post came in response to a post from IPAC criticizing the members of the squad and Kentucky GOP Representative Thomas Massey for voting against the House resolution standing with Israel in the country's war against Hamas. Democratic Socialists of America founding member leaves over its morally bankrupt response to Hamas attack the squad member and her progressive colleagues have been vocal critics of Israel. Amid the Middle Eastern democracy's war against Palestinian terrorists who sparked the conflict with their October 7 surprise terrorist attack on civilians, Rep. Rashida Tlaib, D. Mish, spoke at a pro-Hamas protest on Capitol Hill last month, leading to the introduction of a censure resolution from Georgia GOP Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene's resolution accused Tlaib of anti-Semitic activity and sympathizing with terrorist organizations. For her role in the protest and past anti-Semitic rhetoric. Tlaib, like Ocasio-Cortez and several other House Democrats, is a member of the DSA, which has seen the departure of a founding member over the group's morally bankrupt response to Hamas surprise terrorist attack. DSA founding member Maurice Isserman announced last month that he is leaving the organization for its response to Hamas terrorist attack on Israeli civilians. Isserman, who is still Described on the Socialists' website as a founding member of DSA, penned a piece for the nation headlined, Why I Just Quit DSA. I left to protest the DSA leadership's politically and morally bankrupt response to the horrific Hamas October 7 anti-Jewish pogrom that took the lives of 1,400 people, mostly civilians, and saw over 200 hostages. Carried off to Gaza, both groups of victims including children and infants, he wrote, its statement on October 7 made no mention, let alone offering any criticism, of Hamas, declaring instead, today's events are a direct result of Israel's apartheid regime, a regime that receives billions in funding from the United States, he continued. However, even among the anti-Israel rhetoric from the DSA and its members and the departure of a founding member over the issue, 
the socialist organization and progressive organizations have evaded being labeled hate groups. The Southern Poverty Law Center, a left-wing organization that tracks and labels so-called hate groups across the country, is remaining silent on whether Black Lives Matter, BLM, or the DSA actions following Hamas's deadly attack on Israelis raise hate concerns. BLM grassroots called the Iran-backed terrorist group's attacks desperate acts of self-defense. The DSA promoted a new York City pro-Hamas rally and said the incursion was a direct result of Israel's apartheid regime. Click here to get the Fox News APP demonstrators at the rally burned and stomped on an Israeli flag and taunted supporters of Israel with an image of a swastika. Others displayed signs that read, Palestinian return by any means necessary, Israeli apartheid and genocide funded by the U.S., and end all U.S. aid to Israel. Dozens of student groups at universities such as Harvard also defended Hamas and held Israel entirely responsible for all unfolding violence.